Hello all, welcome to part 18 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically show you what will happen when you create the variables without specifying them with where or let keywords. So let's get started. So what will happen when you create the variables without specifying any keywords like where or let in JavaScript? What will happen to the variables? The scope of the variables will change to global variables in that case. What does it mean by the global scope? Let me demonstrate practically. For that, I'll open this Visual Studio Code IDE and here I'll create a sample JavaScript file, say demo.js like this. Now I'll create a variable, but I'll specify the where keyword where a is equal to five. And here I'll create a function, function f1. And inside the function also, I'll create the same variable with the by specifying the same where keyword like where a is equal to nine this time. Okay. And here I'll say console dot log of a. Okay. And for this particular function to be executed, I need to call the function guys. So I'll be calling the function from outside the function like this. And after calling the function again, I'll be printing the value of variable a that is console dot log of a. So guys, how this code will be executed. Okay. How this code will be executed and what will be printed by the statements. Let's see that. So when you run this code guys, first of all, this variable a will be created. Okay. Variable a will be created outside this function. Okay. The variable a which is outside the function will be created and the value assigned to that particular variable will be five. Okay. The value that is assigned to that particular variable will be five. That's okay. After that, you are calling the function guys. When the function is called again, you are creating the same variable, right? By specific, which is specified with where keyword and this variable has nine. Now here, when you say console dot log of a, what do you think guys will be printed here inside the function? What, what do you think will be printed? Five will be printed or nine will be printed here because here already variable a is there with five and inside the function variable a again, the same variable a is there with the nine. So what will be printed here? Five or nine here guys preference will be given to the variable, the same variable, which is created inside the function. Okay. So here nine will be printed here. Nine will be printed after that. Okay. After this function is over again, you are saying console dot log of a here which variable will be considered which variable will be considered whether the variable that is there inside the function will be considered or the variable which is outside the function will be considered for printing this a here the variable that is outside the function will be considered that here that means here five will be printed guys hope you are able to understand within the function when you are printing a it's considering the same variable okay which whose value is nine okay but when you are trying to access the same variable outside the function, then it's considering this particular variable, which is created outside the function. Okay, that's how it works. Let me run this. You'll see that first nine will be printed because first you are calling the function. So this will be executed and nine will be printed after that. This particular statement will be executed where five will be printed in the output. So if I say no demo dot JS, you'll see nine and five. That means first nine got printed, then five got printed. That's fine. What if I remove this VAR? Okay. I'll simply remove this VAR. Now the scope of this variable will become the global scope. That means what what changes will happen? Let me explain. Okay, the scope of this variable has changed to the global scope. That means here you are not specifying any keyword while creating the variable. So this has become the global scope. Now again, when you are calling the function, first the variable a will be created, guys, with the value phi. After that, when you are calling this function, okay, this variable a will be assigned with the new value nine. That means the value that is already assigned to this variable a got changed to nine because a is at the global scope level. So even though you are assigning a different value inside the function, this cannot be considered as a local scope. Now this new value will be replacing the old value five. Now at a global level a is holding nine guys. Let us value nine. That's what is the difference guys here. Nine will be printed here. Also nine will be printed. Okay. Unlike when you specify where keyword here nine was getting printed here. five was getting printed, but the moment you say you remove the where keyword here. Okay. At a global level, this will replace this variable value. And finally, the variable a will contain nine. Okay. The latest value nine will be there because this is assigned at a global level, not at the local level. So here, here also nine will be printed here. Also nine will be printed. Okay. So that's the difference guys. Hope you are able to understand the difference uh, between declaring a variable by specifying with the where keyword or creating the variable without specifying any keywords. Okay. So node, if I just run this, you see both nines will be printed guys. Okay. You see nine and nine got printed. Okay. This one, 
the value which is assigned to this variable a is replacing the value that already got assigned at a global level okay this one changes to the global level now that's what is mean by global scope guys so now you understood what will happen when you don't specify a particular variable with where or let keyword while creating it okay so but guys it's uh, always recommended to specify a particular keyword like where or let and also as mentioned in the last session you have to provide or declare a variable or specify the variable with let keyword okay in all the programs make sure that you provide let keyword than the where keyword or than the without providing anything okay it's better to provide let keyword everywhere okay don't either uh, specify the where keyword or don't create the variables without specifying the keywords like where or let okay start using start declaring the variables by specifying the let keyword going ahead that's what i mean to say as a conclusion okay so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye